Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. 621 on your Monday morning and let's check in with the latest on now inland hurricane barrel. Now this historic storm that was the earliest cat five we've ever seen in Atlantic hurricane history is now a cat one and it's already inland in Texas. Now that's good news in part. It's terrible because it's bringing destruction to Texas. However, the faster that can move inland, the more it will be starved for moisture and the more it will die out. It'll become a tropical storm and then a post tropical depression headed through Arkansas and into Kentucky before too long. Now, Hurricane Barrel did make impact between Corpus Christi and Galveston Bay, Texas. It is now tracking north and east into Houston, and it brought up to seven to eight feet of storm surge inland. The right front quadrant of that storm, which is the most dangerous portion of any hurricane, was bringing tornado warnings, flash flood warnings, you name it, to Texas this morning in the wee hours. Those have since subsided because that front right quadrant has now been inland for about two, two and a half hours at this point. 622 on your Monday morning and 31 triple Doppler closer to home in the Tennessee Valley is cloudy and it's showing rain sitting along the Alabama Tennessee state line with more to come. And yes, that rain is coming from the outer band of Hurricane Barrel. Now it will stay with us through first thing this morning as you're headed out the door to camp and to work. However, it's just scattered showers. It is by no means a washout and the majority of the heavy rain is staying west of I-65. By lunch, time we're dry today. We'll have some pockets of sunshine coming just after lunch, but the cloud cover is going to take over for much of the day. And then fast forward to dinner time. That's when we'll see again coming from Hurricane Barrel and the low pressure system associated with it, more rain and storms entering into the Tennessee Valley. Around dinner time, they're sitting in our far southern counties and they're more widespread than what we saw in the morning. They'll continue to track e uh, north and east towards the Tennessee River and stay widespread with us on again off again in spurts throughout the Tennessee Valley into bedtime tonight. Despite the widespread coverage of the rain and storms, I am not expecting any type of severe weather and not all of us will see the rain. Those that do, though, will see brief periods of very heavy downpours. Now, I know what you're saying. Grace, you're supposed to put us in a caution day on the three-day threat tracker when there's rain to be routine altering. Didn't you just show us rain? Yes, but because the majority of the heavy rain is coming close to bedtime, it's not exactly going to be routine altering. So I have us in the green. By tomorrow, though, that's a different story. Scattered rain in the forecast starting in the afternoon. Still not severe, but enough to alter your routine. And then on Wednesday, we're back to the green and the sunshine on the threat tracker. Warm this morning, 76 in Muscle Shoals, 75 in Huntsville as you're heading out the door. Our high temperature, 96 degrees, feeling like 103. You can thank the humidity, a.k.a. the moisture from the rain associated with Hurricane Barrel for that increase in your feels like temperature. By tomorrow, 95 degrees for your high temperature, scattered rain coming later in the afternoon, lasting through dinner time and even into bedtime. Again, not severe, but enough to make you want to bring your umbrella. Thursday and Friday were sunny. This weekend, we're sunny and hot before rain on Monday.